Uh, hi guys, uh, Sunday morning, um, beautiful morning this morning, um, sun's out nice and warm, just on my way home after uh, refereeing my nephew's game, uh, it was a very tight game, ending 1-0, um, they were probably quite unlucky not to get the win in that game, but that's how football goes, um, but yeah, great morning to start off the day, um, Looking forward today, there's lots of good football on telly, hopefully Arsenal can get a win against Fulham and looking forward to sitting down and watching the Liverpool Man City game as well. Um, got a bit of admin and different work to do today because it's a nice relaxed Sunday so it's a good chance to do some work, watch the football, um, so that is what I'll be doing today. So put a few clips up of what I get up to, probably have a few things that I can think about and discuss uh, throughout the day um, and we'll go from there so yeah hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch up with you later on today. Uh, watching some of the football the Liverpool Man City game still on uh, was a great win for Arsenal earlier I'm really impressed with the performance um, nine wins on the bounce now I'm really starting to see um, some improvements under Emery and the most important thing is just winning games I think a lot of the time Arsenal fans were so caught up on the style of play but at the moment we're just kind of enjoying just just getting back to winning games and the style of football was really good today so really excited about that uh, been quite a tight cagey game here in the man city game but enjoyed that and also just been catching up on some emails and other things like that so uh yeah been a good sunday so far perfect sunday setup emails admin Super Sunday football. Uh, hi guys, uh, so Sunday evening, um, just running a couple of errands, getting some petrol and different things like that, get ready and set for a busy week ahead. Um, I am away at next weekend, so just got to make sure everything's set and ready for the week uh, and the weekend and everything runs smoothly. Um, so it will be quite a busy, hectic week um, this week. Uh, one thing I was thinking about today and I just kind of wanted to reflect on in this video, uh, obviously we've got our showcase coming up uh, and that's a free showcase for players kind of age 16, 18, 17, 18, 19, 20, etc. Um, to showcase themselves in front of scouts. And something that I hear and see a lot is players who are agreeing deals with agents and different things like that. Um, and as a company, Performance Global, we've done a little bit of agency work with older players a couple of years ago. And we always, there's always a contract and uh, kind of a percentage of what the player earns would go to the agent. Um, and I think it's important for young players to realise they shouldn't be paying agents up, agents up front um, uh, and they shouldn't be getting into a situation where agents are taking a percentage of their wage before they're really earning a good enough wage to justify that. For example, if a player is earning 250, 300 quid a week and your agent's asking for 10% of that, it's, it's a joke really because that's just a normal wage. And I think, yeah, if a player is earning 20, 30, 40, 50,000 pound a week and the agent has got that deal for them, then they're entitled to some a percentage. But before that, I don't think, and I think for players, they kind of think, oh, I'll get an agent, pay him some money and he's definitely gonna get me signed or whatever, but it doesn't work like that, obviously they might be able to get you opportunities, but then you've got to work and make sure you actually do get signed, etc. And I think sometimes a network based on friends and contacts in the game that are going to help you out can sometimes be a lot better at this age rather than um, paying an agent, etc. I think you see a lot of players as well who are like, oh, I'm going to... I'm going to move to Manchester because there's loads of clubs up there and I'll I'll get a club. Well, sometimes it's better to stay where you are, where you've got friends, where you can network. And even to the point of just if you say you live around here and you have a, a friend that plays in the Hemel Hempstead first team and you can go to him and say, oh, do you reckon you can get me into a training session with you and uh, see where it goes from there? So kind of just uh, something I was thinking about, something that does frustrate me when you see these people that are that are in it for the money um, and there is a lot of people out there in football that are in it purely just for the money and just 
not treating people the way they should be. And I think it's important to build relationships with people that you can trust and people that are in the game for the right reasons. Um, so yeah, that was just something that I was thinking about today as I was kind of cracking on with some work and watching the uh, football and thought I would share it with you guys and hopefully the advice and tips that we give on here from occasion can can be of some help to people hopefully but yeah um been a great day looking forward to the week hope you're enjoying the videos and uh this week i am hoping that we might we've got a fixture and i'm hoping this might lead to the first si proper signing of this video um and yeah so been a good week looking forward to the next week hope you're enjoying it and i'll catch up with you guys soon